So every once in a while, I'll get a comment on one of my YouTube videos that goes something like this. Hey, you should spend a whole week on a song rather than doing one every day so that they'll be better. I'll also get lots of variations on this critique, such as recently when YouTube user YoungNam left a comment on one of my videos saying that he thought that writing a song a day was a recipe for utter failure if your goal is, I want to write good songs. Now, I first want to make very clear that I totally understand where these folks are coming from. In some ways, it seems really counterintuitive that writing a song a day would ever yield good material. I think we have these images in our heads of artists slaving away, losing sleep, really suffering for their art. And of course, there are many people that produce amazing material that way. But I truly believe that my way works, too. So the first thing we need to do is somehow define what makes a good song, or in a broader sense, what makes good art. Obviously, that's a huge, gigantic question, and I'm not really smart enough or qualified to answer it. Instead, I want to point out that, in my experience, more often than not, I've had a really hard time discerning which of my songs fall into the good or bad category. The iPhone 4 song is a perfect example. There's an awful lot of hoopla, hoopla, the iPhone. When I wrote this song, I honestly wasn't sure if it was any good. It wasn't until I put it out into the world and got the positive responses, not just from the hoopla of the Apple fans, but from other musicians whom I hold in the highest esteem as well, that I realized that it was a good song. Of course, it's about a rather silly subject, but the melody, the music, the sentiment, it all came together to make a truly great song. On this, 9 out of 10 people seem to agree. Now, most of you know about my 70-20-10 rule. It's simple. 70% or the majority of everything you make will be mediocre. Just okay. 20% of everything you make is gonna suck. It's gonna be the stuff that you're just gonna throw away. But there's gonna be 10% of everything you make that's gonna be great, fantastic, brilliant, genius, amazing. Even before I started writing a song a day, I remember noticing that this was true. Like, I'd make a collection of songs to put on an album. A few of those songs, maybe two or three, would be truly great. The hits. Most would be in the pretty good to just okay range, and that's unfortunately the bulk of the album. And there'd inevitably be a few stinkers, filler, stuff that didn't really work for whatever reason. Show me a musician who has only ever written brilliant songs, and I'll call you a liar. Every musician, indeed, every artist of any kind makes a whole range of work from stuff that 100% completely succeeds to the crappy, crappy, crap, crappity crap crap that's like the utter failures, the complete abject awfulness. But the key is that the more stuff you make, the more good stuff you'll make. The more stuff you make, the more good stuff you'll make. Sure, there'll be a lot of other stuff too, but that other stuff, the crap stuff, it will all have been in service of the good stuff. So it's really win-win. It's all about probability. The more often you roll the dice looking for those good songs, the more often you find them. Rolling the dice. Not to put too fine a point on it. Hey, I'm the only being you have on it. But I found that there's quite literally no correlation to how long I spend on a song and how good it is. None. Zip. Zilch. I could spend a whole month working on a song, crafting it, honing it, getting it just right, and it could end up totally sucking. On the other hand, I could sit down and write the most brilliant song ever, like it just came pouring out of me in an instant. Every artist I've ever talked to has experienced this. Like, the sensation of creating in a moment, like you can't stop yourself, like it's happening without you or beyond you somehow. But it's not happening beyond you. That sensation only happens when you've been at it long enough to allow it to happen. When you work at something every single day, you create the opportunity for those moments of flow to happen. Okay, now for the caveat. I want to point out that I know that a good song can absolutely be made even greater by spending that time crafting. There's a famous sort of intellectual debate between Allen Ginsberg and Jack Kerouac, right? Jack Kerouac was all about just 
doing as much as he possibly he just like wrote and 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 never edited. And Allen Ginsberg would have those periods of just intense pouring it out, stream of consciousness writing, but then he classically went back always and was constantly editing and honing and crafting his poems, even after they were published. He would go back and change them and change words around. I like that. I like both of those styles. I think they both have something to offer. The point of Song A Day for me is that it jives perfectly with my own sort of artistic impulses. The impulse namely to create constantly. And I'll freely admit that I'm a much better creator than I am editor. So of course, someday the plan is to take all these songs that have fallen into the 10% great category and make them better. But for now, it's all about the act of pure creation. And that's what I think it should be for you, if that works for you. So do it. And with that, goodbye. you enjoyed this second episode of this How I Write a Song a Day show. Um, thanks everybody for your comments and suggestions for topics. Keep those suggestions coming. If you want to send me a suggestion for something you'd like me to talk about, um, email me at songsforpeople at yahoo.com. Here are some of the suggestions that I've gotten so far that I'll probably tackle in upcoming things. People have uh, expressed an interest in time, like time management, like they don't have enough time to do something every day which I think is interesting. Lyrics, people want to know how I write lyrics. Where do I get ideas from? A lot of people seem to want more insight into the actual process of Song A Day, um, so i got to figure out how to do that. Um, I want to address this issue of muse. Like, is, is, there this, is there a muse up there who's, like, feeding us our ideas, or do ideas, you know, does our stuff come from us? Um, the inner critic thing, silencing your own inner critic, um, the why, like why do this at all. Uh, Kevin for Peace asked for influences. And Stratomacaster, in addition to asking for mixing tips, he wanted to know about chord progressions. So I guess I will probably be tackling all of these at some point or another. Um, but if you have ideas, especially ones that you didn't hear on that list that you want me to talk about, um, sort of really meaty subjects that I can get into, then let me know.